Welcome everybody to Red G Fox. All right, so today we are going to break down a character that only had two appearances in Sanford and Son history, but very memorable for anyone who watched TV in the 70s and the 80s and had two roles on Sanford and Son. And that is the great Ron Glass. Yeah. Ron Glass was such a cool guy. He just felt like he could play a very sophisticated guy, a very hip and cool guy. And he had some memorable roles. Let's get to him right now. We'll talk a little about his past as well. But before we get started, I want to thank everyone that watches this right off the bat. If you see anything you like, anything you learned about, because that's what we want to do, not just talk and teach. We also want to learn about some of these things. Please give a like. And if you enjoy the channel, if you enjoy the quizzes, because we got quizzes, polls, multiple throughout the week, as well as shorts and videos like this, at least minimum two times a week. So there's always something for Sanford and Son fans and even classic comedy as we go through like this, actors like we get on here today. So if you do like that, please subscribe, join our community. It's not just for me, it's for everybody is when we do our live shows or just comment. It's just so great to see all the different people who voice their opinions on their favorite episode, their favorite characters, their favorite actors, and their favorite most important quotes. So please, yeah, like and subscribe. If you like, it really helps the channel. It helps the video get promoted and more people see it. So without further ado, let's get to Ron Glass. Ron Glass, he made two appearances in Sanford and Son history, and we just watched a video on the last one, one of the best ever, and that is, uh, why it just escaped me, Card Sharps. <laughs> he plays Hucklebuck. Now, now, I know what a rooster does, but what does a Hucklebuck do? That's what Fred says on it. But he plays Hucklebuck in that, and... He is so, his outfit looks amazing. He, he pulls it off. There's not a second where I see him and go, you know what? It just feels like he's acting. Like, I feel like if you told me that's how Ron Glass was, that's how he would be. He, it's a very memorable character, and he only has a few lines of dialogue throughout the whole thing. And another one he comes in, the actor, the character he played was, the other one was Herman Edwards. Uh, he, he, in that one, his name is Herman. That's the one where Fred's not there. Grady's taking care of the place, and this guy, it's Lamont's friend who just got out of jail. Hmm, I'm like, maybe he's, that's his real name, Hucklebuck. He got put in jail, like Fred said, and now he's out of jail. But either way, he comes to stay with them, and in that, we'll just cover for you, like I said, with when he was in Card Sharps, the whole episode was great. He never had too many insanely funny lines. He was just part of the humor. Him, Rooster, Skeeter had most of the lines in that for them. But in this one, he does get off some lines. When he first comes and Grady doesn't like him, he's like... And he finds out he's a jailbird. And he's all, you want to put my hands up against the wall? You want me to spread my legs? <laughs> he's totally playing into Grady's fear and, and, and letting him say, okay, make a fool of himself. And then also, remember, he gets he gets the transistor radio for Grady. And, and Grady's like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. You got it for him. And he thought he stole it when he never did steal it. And at the very end, he left the bill. He paid just like the down payment. But the rest of the bill was still to Grady. And Grady's like, I never liked that guy. In that one, he gets some very funny lines. So... He's got two memorable characters. One episode was memorable. The other one, he was pretty funny. And it showed his range from slick uh, 70s cool pimp to uh, just a normal guy, everyday guy like Lamont was. So that's what we remember for. That's what we always like him. And since we just did card charts, I figured, hey, let's break down something about, uh, I almost called him Herman, Ron Glass's life. So he was born in July 1945. So that would mean when he first appeared in Sanford and Son, he was around 28, 27, 28 years old. And he passed away, sadly, November 2016 at the age of 71. Good long life. That's a, I hope I reach my 70s. Now, he's best known for Detective Ron Harris in that one from which we've covered before, Barney Miller. Hey, I finally got it right. I didn't call it Barnaby Miller. <laughs> I always mess that up. But yeah, he, he played Barney Miller. And we've mentioned in a previous uh, Fun Fact Friday where we broke it down about there were several other actors and characters from Sanford and Son who were on one specific episode. And in that one, we get to see, because I am not I never really watched too much of Barney Miller. Here and there, I liked it. But when I did, I always remembered Ron Glass, and I always thought that I liked this guy. He does a very good job of being, uh, he, throughout the whole series too, he's always trying to write a book about everything that's going on. It's a funny gag that gets carried through. But that's what he's most, if you went up and said, hey, Ron Glass, there's going to probably be two things. That and uh, what was the other one? Firefly. I guess a lot of people, uh, I never watched that show. They had a show and then it's, they had a sequel movie to it from Firefly. That was pretty big for him. So those are the biggest two things with Ron Glass. He, when he was younger, he attended the University of Evansville and received a Bachelor's of Arts 
in drama and literature. So we see where the acting comes from. And he seems so well-spoken. Now, in 2007, they did an interview with Ron Glass. And he even said, when I was in college, that was the time I said, you know what, I want to pursue acting. He wanted to make it a career. It wasn't just a hobby at that time. He said, I feel like I can do it. And we already know he could. And he really enjoyed it. But the kicker is all these things we've ever seen in people's past. There's always a friend who goes with them. There's always someone who inspires him or pushes him to take that next level. And Ron Glass did have a teacher at college who said, you should really pursue this. You know, you're really good at it. And we love it. That's what we love from teachers is how they, people in our lives. There's always somebody who says, hey, go try that. Go do that. Go try that YouTube channel. There's always someone behind that that gets it started. And so when you get that, it's always nice to see that, that someone else, even though it's not them, they were positive. So whoever this person was, it's not listed. Huge impact to help make what Ron Glass did and the millions of people that experienced joy from what he brought to us. So there's always, I always wish we could see those people behind the scenes and give a thank you to them. So he did that. He stay, oh, his stage debut was in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and that was at the Guthrie Theater. Then from there, he moved to Hollywood, like so many greats at that time. And his first ever appearance in television history, anyone who's a diehard and knows, it's in Sanford and Son as Hucklebuck. Think about all the roles that these actors and things have done where it could be the first time they ever did it was like, uh, if you watch The Office, Steve Carell, his was one of those church's chicken. It was a chicken commercial. So you see it and that's kind of funny. But think of uh, what a character he played, Hucklebuck, to go down and say, hey, Ron, what was the first role you played? Well, I played some dude named Hucklebuck. <laughs> and he's like, what is that? And he's like, I look like a pimp from the 70s and I was a poker guy. Man, what a cool story for him to have his whole career. So first time ever was in Sanford and Son. And... As Hucklebuck. In 1973, he was in a couple other shows, right? Besides Sanford and Son. He went on to do Hawaii Five-O, Maud, and All in the Family. So, it, especially All in the Family, it's always good. You see resumes with these actors. They were in All in the Family as well as Sanford and Son. We've seen that with Gregory Sierra. He was in All in the Family and Sanford and Son, which coincidentally, coinc uh, coincidentally, he went on to be in Barney Miller with Ron Glass. What a small world, man. And it, it anyways, I can go on all day on this. In 1975, he landed the role of Detective Ron Harris. We just talked about that. So it's so ironic, too, is because Gregory Sierra was on there, and the director of all this was uh, the guy who played Swanee. So that's why sometimes I wonder, they try out for parts. We know directors and uh, and uh, producers sometimes have a person in mind. Did anyone say, hey, you know what we want to know? When I looked it up, I couldn't find. It's easier for nowadays stuff. People talk more, and it's all over social media. But I wonder, did someone have Ron Glass in mind? Did someone, could it have been the director who was Swanee? Did he say, you know what, I've worked with Gregory Sierra. He would be great. And would they get him as one of the officers? Oh, you know, Ron Glass, he's looking for parts and I've worked with him. Get him on here as well. So it's always nice to see this small community and then you see him reach out into other things. And that's when he got started in 1975. So we saw him do the short character stints appearances. He actually came back to season four. So he'd already started or it just it either just started or he was about to start Barney Miller because that was also Gregory Sierra's last season, season four in Sanford and Son, and then they all went on to Barney Miller. After Barney Miller was done, uh, d the, was done, I apologize. It was seventy five to eighty two. Literally the year that was done in eighty two, he went on to do a new show which I would have loved for to have success. It would have been so amazing, and that was called The New Odd Couple. And of all people, it starred Damon Wilson, opposite. Damon Wilson was the, I can't remember the name, someone with the baseball hat and kind of the slob, while uh, Ron Glass was the more sophisticated and clean one. So that would have been great to see them actually get a big run at it. Now, from everything I've read on it, and I've covered this multiple times on our show in previous episodes, was that it, it, it had, the acting was good. People liked everything. The issue was it never got a fan base. Like, it didn't get panned. It, they did not say, these two are terrible, the show sucks, nothing like that. The issue was there was a writer strike. And with the writer strike, they could not write new episodes. They couldn't have new material. To me, I wish they would have just put the show on hold until the strike was done. But they said, well, let's take the old episodes from the original series and just remake them. And as I've said in the past, can you imagine if they remade a Sanford and Son right now and the first episode was Cross Swords? And then the next episode was Happy Birthday Pop. The, you know, if you just took it thing for thing, even if it was funny or well done, 
I would just go, why don't I just go watch the original? So anyone who said, hey, the odd couple, I want to go watch this, they would just go watch the original. Why watch the new same story? You want to look for a different twist, a modern era, new actors, a different culture, whatever the case may be. I'm like, hey, let's take something I enjoyed the first time and put a new spin on it. They were unable to do that. And I think that's why it never built an audience. It never built any kind of fan base. And then when the writer strike was done, it was too late and the show was gone. So very sad because I think that had major potential that never got to live to its hype. But that was in 1982 with Damon Wilson. Would have been great to see those two together. And that sucks because Damon had just come off another failed show, which was amazing. Well done. But they said it came down to uh, the guy who said, I think it was Norman Lear. They said, you got to do this. Or you could do another All in the Family. And he said, well, I want to do one more year of All in the Family. It was some backstory. And they ended up canceling that. So Damon Wilson really had some tough luck after he left Sanford and stuff. Because he's a great actor. Anyways, back on Ron Glass. In 85, he did a Twilight Zone episode of all people with Sherman Helmsley. Yeah, George Jefferson. So I never saw that episode when they re-brought Twilight Zone back. But he was in that. He was a, uh, like, he collected souls. He was the devil. And he had Sherman Helmsley uh, in that. So that that's pretty cool. In 1992, he co-starred in a series called Rhythm and Blues with Roger uh, Kabler. So he was with another one where he was co-starring with it. I don't know the success on that one. Uh, it never really blew up to something big, but he was on that one, Rhythm and Blues. He appeared in two episodes. Now, this is a show I never really got into. I saw a few episodes. It was more, I felt like maybe I just missed that era, that generation of those kind of shows. My younger sister, uh, by three years, she loves it to this day. And that's Friends. Anyone in their early 40s, they love Friends. Big fans of it. I never really, didn't hate it, but never really walked, took my time to go out of the way. But in Friends, Ron Glass was, was it Ross? Yeah, Ross is divorce lawyer. Ron Glass was his divorce lawyer. So he was in two different episodes with that. So that's pretty cool. When you get a huge hit show like that and you get to be on multiple episodes, it's good for your publicity. It's good to just get out with a new generation. Like right now, if I said, hey, told my sister, do you know Ron Glass? And she's like, mm. And I said, uh, Barney Miller. Mm. She'd probably go, no, I don't really watch Barney. Sanford and Son. I don't, my sister never really watched. No, I don't know. Uh, Ross's divorce lawyer. Oh yeah, I know that guy. Yeah. Uh, what was his name on it? Uh, his name was... Russell. She's like, oh, Russell, yeah, that's what she would do. So it's good when you get that because it's always good to find the next generation and get on a, a get your face out there to still promote, which he ended up doing, do more things after that. Let's get to it. He appeared in two C, or no, I already did that. He was a regular in the series called Firefly. Now, I don't, that's, that's a sci-fi thing. I never watched it, but he was a regular on that. That was a big show for a while. They even made a sequel that was a movie, and that one was called Serenity, and he was in that as well. So, that's cool. That's what I'm saying. Later in your life, sometimes it's harder for actors to get roles they used to do. So you have to learn to adapt or become something new. Become a doc, you know, play a doctor, a serious, an older type role, as opposed to what he did in Sanford and Son. You can't really pull that off at that later age. Go ask Henry Winkler, trying to be Fonzie later in his life. And then uh, he also, after Serenity, he did other shows as well. He made appearances across many shows. Let's hit up a few of them that you might have heard. Family Matters. Yes, I watched that show. I enjoyed that. He was in Teen Angel. Never watched that. Star Trek Voyager. I'd seen some of those, but Ron Glass was in that as well. And he was in something called The Movie. He was in this movie, Lake View Terrence. Now, that I've heard of as well. That was a suspense movie, I believe. But he was in that, starring in that. A starring role? Not starring, but he was in it. But, you know, he had a major part in it. So that's it with Ron Glass. Great man, great actor, and so much fun to watch. It's like the minute I hear Ron Glass, I instantly think of Hucklebuck and then even Barney Miller, which, uh, you know, I, I remember him being on that. I would love to have thought of him from The Odd Couple, like we'd said. But if there's anything I missed, please put in the comment section something about Ron Glass that you knew that the show didn't do because we want to share it with everyone and get these things out because in the end, some people might be like, ah, you know what? It was a small-time part. I'm a Sanford and Son fan. But if you're a Sanford and Son fan, it's so good to get to know who these cast members are, their history, what else they did where you can find them. You know, if you really like them, I'm telling you right now, go watch Barney Miller. Look for episode 11 in season one. I can't, remember, was, I can't remember the title of it, but it's episode 11 in season one. Go give that a watch. And if you don't like it, okay, then you move on. But I promise if you like that, you will get some familiar faces in there that you will like. And maybe even find a new show, man. Right? It's. I promise you Barney Miller is almost better than anything you're going to find nowadays on TV. 
Thank you again for watching, for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Our channel keeps growing and I love it. And that's all I really want is our channel to get big. Unfortunately, if you're watching today, I cannot do a live show tonight or this Saturday. Grandkids are over while you're watching this. My grandkids are here until late tonight. And then Saturday, we're doing an all-day baseball tournament. So I'm on it unless it rains. But even then, maybe I would. Maybe I would do it the last second. If it rains Saturday where I'm at and we can't do the tournament, I possibly could do one. But then it's going to be short notice. So stay tuned. I'll just say that. Stay tuned if you want to be part of a live show where you watch it at home and I watch it here and we talk and chat. It's so much fun. And it's great to get to talk and meet other people on here in the community and just love and learn about Sanford and Son. But if it, keep, keep your eyes open because if, if it is, I will post on it Saturday afternoon saying, Saturday, 8 o'clock, join us. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend. Be safe and get ready. Thanksgiving's coming up soon. Talk to you guys later. Say bye, Red. Peace. You. Watch it, sucker.